some viewers have asked me to expand on my other videos about flaxseed and talk about a couple ideas of how to eat it. I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. One of the great, I would call the superfood, I don't know if other people call it that, is flaxseed. But in my other videos, I told you how to eat it. First of all, you have to buy it raw and in the whole seed form. If you buy it already ground up, it goes bad very quickly. You need to grind it up at home. And you also don't want to buy it roasted. So I'll have links in the description box below the video of a couple places. Actually, I know one good brand on Amazon that's a pretty good price. This one that I have in my hand is from Aldi. They finally started selling it raw again after people bombarded them and said, you're only selling roasted, please sell raw. So they're selling raw. It doesn't matter if it's brown or golden. If you want to watch those videos, I'll link them. You can tap the little I in the upper right hand corner and get to the videos that way. I'll also have them linked in the description box and at the end of the video, I'll have them linked as end cards. So what can you do with this flaxseed? The first thing you need to do is buy an inexpensive coffee grinder. <laughs> I think of what it's called. And I'll have those linked in the description box below as well. You don't want to spend a lot of money on these. I think I got this one at my hardware store years ago. And then whatever you grind up, store in a tightly sealed container in the refrigerator. And then it's good for a couple weeks and you can use as much as you want whenever you want. Now, if you find flaxseed on sale and at some great price, you want to store it whole in the refrigerator and then if you have extra like you find a really great price then put the whole bag into another freezer bag and pop it in your freezer i'm sitting here today with my little layout over here which i use from replica surfaces i have a couple of them and so i just decided to leave the setup and you kind of see how the sausage is made except i don't eat sausage so the first thing that I like to add flaxseed to is a smoothie. So you can put whatever you want in a smoothie. I start with water, or if I have some extra coconut milk or coconut juice left over, I'll start with that and then more water. I like to put greens in mine. That's just me, like spinach or some kale leaves or something like that. And I will add the ground up flaxseed. I don't put the flaxseed in whole. I grind it up first and then put about a tablespoon per serving. And my serving here in this old Tupperware cup is 16 ounces. And basically the idea behind flaxseed is between one tablespoon and two tablespoons per day. More is not better. Don't put in, don't take more than two tablespoons. It's not going to help you any more than that. So um, I, I have a lot of fruit in here. I don't put juice in because between the fruit and the water, it's making its own fruit juice. So you don't have to put in that sugary fruit juice. And then I have my tablespoon of flaxseed in here. I just toss it in and let it mix. I don't even recognize it. I don't taste it. I don't feel the texture of it in a whole smoothie. By the way, if you're interested in what is in flaxseed and why it's so good for you, I'll also link, It's I wrote about it in one or two of my books, which are Kindle books. You don't need a Kindle to buy a Kindle book. You can download a Kindle app. I'll have that in the description box below as well. And by the way, I know a lot of people don't know how to open a description box, especially on a phone. So if you're watching on a phone or mobile, what you need to do is go below the video and on the right side, there's a little V. Tap the little V and it opens the description box and all the links will be there. If you're watching on a computer, also go below the video, but you'll go on the left side and you'll click the word show more and that opens up the entire description box. All the links are there. One of my favorite things to eat with the flaxseed in it is overnight oats. I don't want to tip it because I do have almond milk in here. 
And um, it is just so delicious. The thing is, I often forget to put it together the night before, thus the name Overnight Oats. So for me, it becomes 20 minute oats. So in the morning, I'll remember, oh yeah, I'm kind of hungry this morning. I want to have some oats. And um, so I'm going to show you how I put this together, what I put in it. And it's just really delicious. I can smell it right now, but it's actually almost lunchtime and I'm not going to eat this for lunch. I'm going to cover it and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. So it really will be overnight oats. So let me show you how I make this. To make the overnight oats, I start with about a third of a cup of old fashioned rolled oats. And then I'm ready for my flaxseed, which I've already ground up. And I'm going to do about a tablespoon and just pour it right in and I'll mix it up in a moment. I also like to use hemp hearts and I have about a tablespoon here. I'm going to pour that in. And then for sweetener, I have some coconut palm sugar, about a teaspoon and a half. You know, it depends on how sweet you like it. Or you can use maple syrup. At this point, I'm going to stir it up. Then I like to add some chopped walnuts and pecans. These are also raw nuts and I like to add a chopped date. Now you can also use raisins if you like and I usually chop it up over the bowl. I chopped it up here just to save some time and of course it's sticking together. So now it's ready for some almond milk. I have some unsweetened almond milk and I'm just pouring it in here and I like to cover it a little bit with the milk and I might add more milk later. And now this particular bowl I'm using has a lid, it's a corning ware. And then I can refrigerate it overnight or if I forgot to do this the night before, which is very common, I can just let it sit for 15 minutes and it's good to go. Later when I'm ready to eat it, if I have some blueberries, I love to add some fresh blueberries and I always add banana. I don't know, something about banana and this just goes together really well. And like I said, if I need to, I'll add some more milk. Here is a close up, yum e. So that's it. That's how I make overnight oats. It's really delicious. If you're not too hungry, but you have a taste for it, you could just use less oatmeal and less hemp hearts. And if you are really hungry, you can go for a half a cup of oatmeal and you know, just adjust it according to how hungry you are. We, we really are doing the whole, I usually don't make a setting like this with my little surface. And of course you can hear my dog chewing her bone, which my microphone picks up, but at least she's not barking because she's right next to a window. Check out one of my other videos on flaxseed by tapping its image on the right side of your screen. And I'll see you in the next video.